This time we are rewinding the clock back to NHL 10. And this is a game that really I didn't play very much. I don't know why. It's just one of the ones I, I skipped essentially because I remember I played 09 quite a bit. In fact, that's when I, yeah, that was my, the year or something around that time. Maybe I was playing an older game again. That could be it too. But either way, I remember collarbone, bad injury, and then I ended up that's basically where my Goldie Be a Proness started, honestly, because I was just on the couch playing NHL and decided, you know what, let's try being a goalie. And I did, and that is, that's where it all came from. So, yeah, um, I don't know if I was playing Halo or Call of Duty at the time or something else, but I pretty much just skipped NHL 10, and then I played 11, so... This is going to be sort of new for me, but probably not really. I mean, the menus and everything are probably about the same. The roster is not going to be super different from 11, but I'm also not going to really remember the rosters from 11. So, yeah, let's do be a GM. New. And let's put it on Superstar. Uh, I don't think this makes a difference when we're simulating. I forgot how loud the Xbox 360 is when it's running. It's actually mad. All right. Um, NHL entry draft. No, I'll start at the regular season with the fantasy draft on. Yes, sir. Uh, salary cap. Yeah. Um, and then starting rosters current. That should all be good. Rules, injuries. Can I turn off injuries from here? No, I cannot. So I'm going to have to do that afterwards. Advanced settings. Assistant coach edit line. No. Be a GM tutorial. I don't know. Come on. GM firing. We'll turn that off. Um... I'll leave waivers on. Trade offer notification. Stars only. They had this way back then? No way. Okay. Let's go, I guess. Is there anything else I should set? I think we're good. All right, let's advance. And we have to do it this way. Yeah, so actually, fun fact for you. Great logo. Great logo. Um, I was going to do NHL 07. Doesn't have a fantasy draft. I thought it did. At least the Xbox 360 one. The one that was basically... An 06 copy probably has it. And yeah, unfortunately, this one does not. But then I went to go do 09, and the disc was unreadable. So <laughs> we ended up settling on NHL 10. All right, we shot for the moon and landed amongst the stars. I don't even know if that's the saying or not, but I'm going to look at you guys absolutely mash this RT button, and then I'm going to stop. Islanders. Okay. Sure. Rick DiPietro. Yup, that's a name for sure. Let's go ahead and advance. And let's see what draft position we get. Number 15. So we are right in the middle. We are right in the middle. Okay, let's advance and see who we can get. Sydney the Kidney, Malkin, Ovechkin. Cam Ward goes back to the Carolina Hurricanes, Luongo, all right, Chris Pronger's going early too, Chara goes to the Bruins, let's do this, Patrick Kane goes to Washington, our pick, who do I take, Lidstrom, still 91 overall at 39, that is unreal, Zetterberg, it's only 28 here, and 90 overall, Jumbotron, 1507, Marion Hosa, a lot of good players here, Rick Nash, hmm, who should I take? Okay, I'm going to go for one of the players up at the top here for sure. I might actually take Zetterberg. Six million. We got five from Hosa, but no. Yeah, I'm going to take Zetterberg. Screw it. Let's go. Jason Spezza in the first round. Absolute legend. And then Doughty goes right after Kopitar. Okay, well, let's uh, quick sim to our next pick. Here we go. We are now at pick 16. And... I am going to take... So we have a left-wing sniper currently. A lot of snipers here. Hmm. Dan Boyle. We were actually just talking about him yesterday. Because Brian Boyle's name came up. And then... Yeah. That's uh, how that came about. Potential a D for Thomas? What's that? Yeah, right. Jiggy? I don't know who to take here. Turco, Leclerc, Vokun. So I want to take one of the 85s. And I'm probably going to take Marty Turco. Hmm... Or should I, no, you know what? I am going to take J.S. Aguirre. Screw it. Let's go. Matt Sundin to play with Zetterberg. Oh, Briere. Oh, my word. Why'd they have to make that so hard? Why would you do this to me? Can't believe you've done this. All right, I'm going to take Briere. 
Uh, I pretty much have taken him in like all the old game drafts, it feels like. Uh, it's okay, though, because I was only yoking in with that pick. And now I'm going to take... Yeah, I'm going to take him. He's still there. I'm going to take him. Next pick is going to be Chris Drury. That's another name I haven't heard in a while. Same with Rob Blake. Paul Correa at 85 overall here. Alexei Kovalev. Who should I take? We actually... Do we have any defensemen yet? We have no defensemen. So I'm taking Rob Blake. I'm going to take Kovalev, so we'll have two snipers on the first line. And then I am going to try to take a defenseman here. Teaming in. I could take Rafalski. Willie Mitchell. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go with Rafalski. Pick up the best overall defenseman that was remaining. Unless he was also 84. Maybe he was. But I don't know who we should take now. Brian McCabe. Yeah, right. Ryan Smith. We got Jason Blake. Okay, so the overalls in this game seem to be... Like, substantially lower as a whole. It feels so weird seeing Kevin BX in a game, because I'm just used to seeing him on the panel now all the time. Uh, let's take Solani? No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. He's only making 2.6. Are you serious right now? Yes, please. Saku Koivu. Guy was sick. I was a fan. I'm taking him. We are <laughs> definitely strong down the middle. That's for sure. Wingers, on the other hand... We'll see. Uh, you know, fine. Oh, Keith Kachuk. Another centerman. We can play them on the wig. Screw it. I got to take Keithy boy. Oh, Brendan Shanahan too. But, hmm, this is tough. I'm just drafting a bunch of old players. My salary cap is going to be absolutely screwed. Okay, fine. We'll take, we'll take McCabe. And then I'm going to hope that one of the other two is still there. Kachuk and Shanahan, they're both still here. I'll take Shanahan first just because we do have enough centers already. And now, I'm going to take Billy Garrett. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to take... Will I? No, I'm going to take Keith Kachuk. And then I'm going to take Billy Garrett because he's still going to be there. Yes, sir. Boom. I'm just taking players that I liked. And a lot of players that I liked, I don't even have a good reason for it. I just did. Um, so, Whitney. I was just playing as him on NHL 07 because you have to do that little shootout thing at the beginning. The warm-up. So... Should I grab him, maybe? What's... Okay, let's see. How much money? Oh, it's pretty bad. Mark Recchi is only making one mil, but he is a sniper. Okay, what about John Madden? We already have enough centers, though. Knubel. We we do need defensemen. Real bad. Oh, Miroslav Shatan. That guy was sick as well. Jokin Hecht. Uh, Madonna! Why, why is this game doing me like this? Stop it. Look how young Craig Anderson looks there. Holy... That is wild. Well, I guess he's 28. He wasn't, like, super young, but still. Old. Um, okay. Fernandez. Yes, what a legend. Theodore, Huey, Legacy. I kind of want to take Jose Theodore. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I remember Gerber, too. There's a lot of these names that just instantly sort of... As soon as I read it, I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah. Guy was sick. Freddie Modine. Oh, and Nolan. Could play him on the off wing. How much is he making? 2.7? Power forward? Okay, you know what? Let's try to find defensemen slash left wingers. Let's let's actually try to fill out the positions here. I have absolutely no idea where our cap is. Like, I, I don't know if we are close to it, if we are not close to it, if it matters, if it doesn't matter. Pekka was cool as well. Rafi Torres, 2.25. Hmm. No, maybe. We'll see. Doug Waite was sick, too. Uh, who do I take? We need defensemen. I want to find someone who's not making a whole lot. Andy Sutton making a little more than I would like. But screw it. Let's grab him. I don't care that you're making 3.5. I'm grabbing you. Sure, why not? Let's go with Jason Chimera. Making 1.8. Left wing grinder. What is... Oh, there's like a tough defenseman. Okay, cool. Wade Belak. R.I.P. All right, this lad's only making 1.37, so I will grab you for the team, and did I ever grab another winger? I think I did, right? Yeah, so we need one more left winger and one more defenseman. Let's see if there's uh, anyone here. Donald Brashear, should we add some toughness? I think we should do it. Maybe? I don't know. My Xbox sounds like it's about to take off right now at the airport. Okay, Mark Mathot. Welcome to the team. You are the last pick. 
sim the entire draft. Let's go put this squadron together and see how either good or not good we are. We are currently $23 million over the cap space. Amazing. Well, that was accidental. Would you like to play with the salary cap on? You know what? Ah, let's just turn it off. Screw it. Okay, this is neat and all, but I don't care. <laughs> I'd rather just see the lines. Okay, no, I don't want to do this. I'm not making a trade. Stop. What do you mean? Why do you make me do that? Why? All right, I don't get it. That was a totally fair trade, by the way. Can I get out of here now? Yeah. All right. What am I to do? Am I supposed to, like, assign these? There you go. Okay. Are we all good? Thank you. Nice. And waivers have been disabled for today only. Good for waivers. Let us use phone. I forgot about that. All right. Well, yeah. I'm going to go edit the lines now if I can figure out how. Okay. This looks like the team that I drafted. Yeah. Everything looks solid there. Cool. First line is sick. Second line is also pretty sick. And then our depth, I'm definitely okay with that. On defense, everything looks fine here as well. And in net, yeah. All right. I have no idea if we're going to be good or not. I don't know what to expect. So I'll say we're going to be a playoff team. And then I'm going to say Zetterberg gets the most points with... I don't know how much points people get in this game either. 89. Okay, sure. We start off with a huge dub. Over the pity pens. Followed up with a loss to the Sens. 6-3. Come on. There we go. Huge win. Let's try to pull ahead here against the Kings. Oh, no. We're back to 2-2. Two two. All right. Listen, boss. Zip it. All right. I've had enough. I'm trying to simulate some hockey games here. I mean, so far, things are going pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's not super long. I forgot to turn off injuries. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, assistant coach replace player. Stop the simulation. Cut it. Stop. We need to make an adjustment. Whoopsies. Also, I just realized, Pelic, you're not the one we... You, you are not it, okay? We are putting... Okay, my thoughts going in, and Pelic is going out. Boom. There we go. Very nice. And then Bell, I'll need to put Zetterberg back in eventually. But obviously not right now. So we're down Zetterberg for essentially the whole month of November, which is very upsetting. Oh, wait. Cool. He came back already. So it was only a week. All right. Edit lines manually. I guess I'll just do best lines. Sure. And then I'm probably gonna have to go and plug my thought back in. Yep. So get rid of Pelic and put in Mark. And then I have to go to a few lines here. And throw him in manually. I think this should do it. And we should be good after this. All right. We're done. This is the final time we have to stop. Dwayne Rollison on waivers. I mean, I'm not going to grab you. But actually, yeah. Place him in the minors. <laughs> Make the AHL team sick. It is definitely looking like we're going to be a playoff team. Which is nice. So we're not going to have to worry about missing the lofts. Are we going to win the President's Trophy or anything though? Probably not. Looking at the NHL scoring leaders, like, who is Brendel? I have never heard of that individual in my life. You got Jonathan Tays up there. Gagne, Kovalchuk, Rick Nash. Yep, another player to add to the minors. Player will be placed in minors. There you go. Awesome. Actually, let's go to edit lines. So I want to just make sure. Bridgeport. They probably haven't even been plugging these guys in, have they? I probably have to do it. So, best lines. There he is. Oh, yeah. We have Kevin Weeks down here, too. All right. I don't know how they're doing. No clue. But I'm not too worried about them anyway. Speaking of the trade deadline, I hope there's a good one this year. I hope there's lots of big maneuvers that happen. Make it interesting. Like, is it Pavel Brendel? And if so, what is he doing here? <laughs> Played in the KHL and SM Liga and whatnot. And got 22 points in 78 NHL games. I am so lost. And now they're going to win the Art Ross. This has been a banner year. All right, anyway, we have New Joyzy in round number one. So let's go have a look at some of our stats. I keep hitting B and then realizing that I have to press start to get to here. So let's check out the team stats for the season. Team standings. 
Check out team standings. So we finished seventh in the entire league. Okay, we did pretty solid. 97 points. I'll take that. Very decent. Montreal gets the President's Trophy with 109 points. And it looks like, yeah, the top 16 teams made it in. I don't know if that was like the same rule set back then or not, or how that worked, but yeah, there we go. Let's have a look now at the player stats. Player stats in the season. Yeah, NHL, let's go. Hopefully, our boys lit it up. Sort by points. We got 77 from Kovalev, 76 from Zetterberg, so I was pretty far off. Briere got 76 as well. Solani was 61. McKay put up 54. All right, good job. I'm curious to see how our goalies did. And let's go to goalies. Jaguar, oh, okay. Uh, 2.8 GAA, 44, 36. Okay, and then, yeah, like just over a 900 save percentage. Cool. And Theodore had a 100 save percentage. He was 1-1-0, one, one and, oh, and I guess he never got scored on when he came in. He only had... That's actually quite a lot. He had 69 shots against and never got scored on. boy, Jose. Justin Abdelkader. Okay, let's sort by points. And we got, yeah, Pavel Brendel. 82 overall and gets 114 points. So it was him. Okay, I don't know how that happened, but congrats. Semin with 108 at 85 overall. Gavrik's 88 and gets uh, 104. Kovalchuk with 102. Parise, 99. Sydney the Kidney with 97. 1507 with 95. Chichu with 95. All right. Very interesting. Hartnell down. Gets 91. Cool. Cool. So let's do the playoffs now. Actually, I'll quickly check the goaltenders. Goalies. I went way too far, didn't I? It's just so laggy. I don't know when to stop. Okay. Let's start by who got the most wins. Oops. Wrong one. Ray Emery. 44. Another lad who unfortunately has passed away. So rest in peace as well to you, Ray Emery. And yeah, there we go. Let's do this. I wonder if the tradition is going to carry on even in this game with first round exits. Would not be shocked. AHL regular season has ended. Cool. Here we go. It seems like it's simulating even slower in the playoffs. Holy. All right, we're down to a best of five here. Split one apiece in New Jersey. I think that was a W. I wasn't even really fully fully paying attention. So I'm pretty sure we're up 3-1 at the moment. Max Pacioretty with Phoenix has six points right now. Okay, it was a win. And so was that. We are moving on to round number two. Who's our next victim? Alex Petrangelo is up there with seven points as well. We got Carolina. Let's keep it going here. We need this huge win. No, that's okay. Actually, we, we lost the first game. In the last one as well. So let's see if we can. Oh, that's not good. We're down two. Are we going to be down by three? Oh, no. We're getting swept, aren't we? Yep. Just a big old sweep. Bring out the brooms. So it looks like it is Buffalo and Anaheim in the finals based on those messages there. So now let's see who wins. Bunch of stuff going on in the AHL as well. But once again, I want to see. What's going on in the NHL? All right, Buffalo wins the Stanley Cup in five games. What a performance from them. Really? Rafalski had the most points for us in the playoffs. He had eight apples. Zetterberg had eight as well. Kola with six. All right, well, it is what it is. And then I want to check the Buffalo Sabres because they did win the Stanley Cup. So let's see who their team... Oh, my word. Sydney the Kidney with 30 points in 21 games. Zerdev with 25, Versteeg with 24, nice, all right, Zajac with 23, Ed Jovanovski with 20, all right, yeah, they had a good team for sure, I'll give it to them, who'd they have in net, out of curiosity, Leclerc, he is 84 overall, okay, well, there you go, that was the NHL 10 draft, let me just go through the awards quick as well, so Stanley Cup, yeah, Buffalo, Presidents Montreal, and we saw that these two teams were in the finals. Art Ross goes to Pavel Brendel. J.S. Shiger gets the Hart Memorial. The James Norris goes to, wait, yeah, am I looking at the wrong thing? Oh no, I think I'm looking at the right one. Anyway, 
Yeah, Brendel, Jay Shiger, Chris Pronger with the Norris, Lady Bing to Zach Parise, Calder to Chiodo, Crosby with the Con Smythe, Jaguar with the Vezina, the Jennings goes to Emery, Bill Masterton to Mueller, we got Smith winning the Selkie, Lester B. Pearson goes to Brendel, the Rocket Richard goes to Kovalchuk, and that is that playoff tree in the NHL, there you go, got a scroll, but that's how it all went down in the West, and that's how it all went down in the East. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you soon.